Recursion 1 count x. Given a string, compute recursively the number of lowercase x characters in the string. So here are the sample cases. Um, x, x, h, i, x, x. Of course, we can count the x's just because we're doing sample cases. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's 4. And there's 4 x's. Here, we can count the x's. 1, 2, 3. There's 3 x's, so that's 3. Here, there are no x's, so that will return 0. So then how do we actually solve this recursively? Okay, so one way we can do this, well this is very similar to the count 7 problem from before, except now it's using strings. So one way we can solve this is by always taking the leftmost character, checking if that equals x, and then adding that to the sum of whatever is left, um, of whatever is left, right? Okay, so uh, what I mean by that, so for example, x, h, I, x. Let's say that we have that. So x, h, i, x, we get the leftmost character x. So that means so because it is x, we add 1 to the sum and then we count whatever is left, which would be h, i, x. h, i, x. h does not equal to x. So then we will be adding 0 because it's not equal to x, and then counting whatever is left. ix. i is not equal to x, so we just add 0, and count whatever is left, which would be x. x is of course equal to x, so that, so that would mean we add 1, and we return whatever is left, which in this case, would just be an empty string. Finally, when it's an empty string, we know that in an empty string there are no more x's left, therefore we return 0. So let's implement that. Okay, so the base case, if str and the value equals it's an empty string, then we return 0. If it's not empty, then we, we do as exactly what we just said. So we get the right leftmost character and then what we do this is by doing str dot char at zero and then we make str equal whatever is left so then the substring function if you just add if you just use one number one parameter then that will return whatever starts at the index to all the way to the end of the string so basically what we're saying is omit the first character which is at index zero start at index one and get whatever is left Okay, so then if the leftmost character equals x, then we return 1 plus count x string. If it doesn't equal x, then we return 0 plus count x string. And that works.